Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Luke Named Bear, aka Luke Book Bear, and tonight I want us to discuss Coinsby. Now, Coinsby is a website, coinsby.com, where you can use your Bitcoin Cash BCH to purchase gift cards. Now, I use it specifically and only for eBay gift cards and Amazon gift cards. Now, eBay gift cards and Amazon now too are hard to come by. I mean, if you're here in the, in the United States, you can buy a lot of times at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, but you, you can't you, you can't pay with your Bitcoin Cash wallet. You got to pay them cash. Um, or sometimes they might take a bank card, maybe, but you can't can't pay credit either. So now at Coinsby, this, this is what I've been using now for about a year and a half now. Now there were some some other options, and there still are a couple kind of, but Coinsby is what I like to use. Now. I don't use it. I don't have a need to do it all the time, but when I do need it, this is what I use. Now I've used it about a dozen times. Now the most recent time was on April 28th you know, this year, 2023. And as you can see, payment method BCH. They're all BCH. Every BCH, and then I'll show you the second page too. But they're all BCH. The only thing different this time was for the processor. They use a, a company called MixPay. Now, up until that, they were all CoinGate. You can use CoinGate itself to buy cards too with, with your with Bitcoin Cash. So MixPay, I saw when the invoice when the pay invoice opened up, it looked a little bit different. So, um, I, and I checked out the website. Let's see, it's called MixPay.me. Says decentralized Web3 cross-chain payment protocol. Mix any wallets. Mix any exchange. Uh, Payments, uh, crypto. Um, that word it keeps changing, but <laughs> but well, I don't want to spend too much time on their site. I'm just showing you what it is. So if you want to check it out? It's mixpay.me. I'm gonna go ahead and close this tab. Now over here, now this is my account at Coinsby. Um, I'm not verified. If if you want to get verified, you can you can make a larger purchase. Um, you have to do KYC. Now I, I'm not verified. I didn't do KYC. Uh, this is my account. These are my orders. I'm not showing you any sensitive inf information, um, so I don't have a problem with showing you. Now, like I say, they're all BCH, and let's just take a look at the, the most recent one. Here, right here, it's going to show you what it was for, how much, and then the, the code itself. So it's for Amazon. It was for nine bucks. Now that's something else I, I like about coins. But you don't need to do like an even rounded number, like ten, twenty, twenty-five, fifty, hundred. You know. You can put in one hundred and eighty-six dollars if, if that's what you need, and this is the code here. You put this when you're in your Amazon check or that towards the end of the year when you're checking out. Now, I've already used it, so if you want to try it, it's not going to work. But so now some of these other ones that was for uh, Amazon. Uh, the, the other one here now, the previous to the, to the last was for uh, I believe eBay, and yep, fifty bucks at eBay. And once again, when you're paying in eBay, uh, I think. It's, it's yeah, it's on the same page where you uh, before you go to pay with uh, with a method you're gonna use, you put it you put in the code and it, it you know depending on how much you have to pay, it may zero your balance out or it's gonna reduce your balance that you need to pay or your eBay order. Now, let's see, I, I'm trying to keep this video kind of short. I want, but I kind of want to show you. Okay, let's just say, let me show the first time I used it. It was the beginning of 2022. It was January 15th of 2022. It was, like I said, they're all BCH and, and they, they were all CoinGate processor. Uh, if you don't know what a processor for crypto, you, you know, the place, the store you're buying from, they send you the, the, you pay the processor in your Bitcoin cash, and then the processor will pay the vendor or the store in, in fiat, you know, in my case, dollars. Or I'm not even sure where Coins B is located. That's a good question. Coins B, where are they? Where are they? Uh, well, you know what? I don't know, and I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on this video. Oh, I should I should have looked it up before. Coinsby, where where is Coinsby located? Well, you know what? I haven't any kind of problem with it. I've used it over a dozen times now. No kind of problem. They're all relatively fast. You have to wait six confirmations, and after that, you will re receive your code inside your account. They also send you an email notification to check your account, and the code's in there. Could be a, just a couple of minutes after six confirmations, or it may be a, a couple of hours. Like one time I did it in the middle of the night, and I didn't receive the code until I woke up in the morning, and then I I got on my email like an hour later after I woke up. So 
but it was it was like two in the morning when I did it, which for some stuff that's not even a factor, but and maybe it wasn't, I don't know, but they've all been pretty fast. Now coin let me talk about coin gate. Well no no let me talk about a little bit more about coins be. Now, okay, you I'm, I'm in the US. Um so this this is gonna vary depending on where you're at now. So uh eBay you can you can go up to two hundred bucks without being verified, no KYC. And I say you can put any amount doesn't have to be a, like a, a predetermined even round amount. It can be 100 and say you only need 192 bucks. You don't have to buy 200. You can buy 192. Look, Bitcoin Cash price is right there. Now, also they do Amazon and some other cards too. But Amazon, now I think Amazon the, the limit is a little bit higher, at least for the U.S. Yep, one to two thousand. So if you want, if you need, let's just say 1100 and. Twenty-seven dollars. You can buy eleven hundred and twenty-seven dollars. You don't need to put, you know, one thousand two hundred. You know, you can. So that's that's very helpful. Now, let's see. Now, as compared, look. Now, this is I mentioned CoinGate. You can go through CoinGate, which was the processor for Coins B up until recently. But over here, the on, the drawback can, when you compare it to Coins B is look. You have to do a 10, 20, 25, 50 100 200 now you try to put in another let's just try put in eleven dollars what, what happens it automatically goes to the to the near it rounds down or up depending on which is closer so ten dollars so there's a draw back there now they have amazon cards too this is the e this is for ebay but they have amazon too so that is an option so keep that in mind that's an option now here's a place i used to go to called e-gifter never had any kind of problem worked great but nowadays Look what happens now is you go to buy an eBay gift card. Look what it says. You cannot purchase using Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum, or Skrill. That's like a, a PayPal type of thing. Or, you know, similar to PayPal. So, how do you buy? Well, you have to use your credit card or a bank card. So, what's the purpose? I can go to Walmart and buy it with, with cash. And, you know, like, well, a dollar, a US dollar, you know, fiat. So, what is the purpose? Now, oh, now... If that's not enough, look at how they offer Amazon cards now on eGifter. Look at this. <laughs> Available in a limited way at eGifter. And what's that mean? Payment in full using eGifter points. So, I mean, everyone knows what points are. You can get points in the grocery store for the grocery store. You know, when you buy something, you get points. So, that's the only way you can buy an Amazon card is to save your points up. So, not an option at all. Now, before I close the video, I do want to talk. What well, you know? What three things? One, quickly about eBay. When you do use an eBay gift card on eBay, and this has nothing to do with Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, or even Coins B. Just eBay policy. No matter where you get the card from, that the gift card or the credit, you cannot buy anything in the category of virtual currency. So that includes anything related to, to Bitcoin Cash mining or any kind of mining dash bitcoin btc you can't even buy if you need to buy a fan for your ant miner you can't buy a fan for your ant miner if you need to buy a, a control board you can't buy a control board you need to buy a hash board you can't you can't buy a hash board because uh, they're all in the virtual currency category unless you happen to find one that's outside that category that's a mistake made by the seller but those could get hung up by ebay as being in the wrong category so you know I mean, plus I I haven't found it in myself. They're all in the virtual currency category. So that's just a quick note about, about eBay gift cards that I wanted to bring up. Now, last two things I want to mention. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. There was a better, well, a much easier, more efficient way to buy Amazon credit if you want. If you need an Amazon card, it was through BitPay, and it was very, uh. Very easy. It's very impressive. It was a it was a BitPay extension for your browser, or, you know, extension or plugin depending on which browser you're using. Right inside of Amazon, when you go to, to the checkout, a the extension would open up. It looks like a little thing like MetaMask Wallet, you know. It would open up on its own, and it would ask you to. Uh, well, I forget exactly. Ba basically, you could pay with Bitcoin Cash right then and there. You select the amount in, in dollars, you know, for your, how much you want to pay for Amazon order. It could be your whole order, or it could be a just a, a certain amount of your order. If you, if you want to pay with it, with your, with say your bank card, also some of it. And it was instant, no confirmations, no anything, instant. It worked so it it was cool. It was very cool. It was impressive. 
and you could, I mean, you know, using Bitcoin Cash right in Amazon instantly. And I, I even I wrote a tutorial slash review about it. I posted it on 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 my site, and I, I will link that in here in the description just in case they ever bring that service back. Um, then you'll have a tutorial, um, and, and kind of a review on it too. And I, I bought some jeans and stuff, Carhartt jeans on there. Um, but you know, a lot of these places are getting this. Even like e gift their, their policy now with for eBay and uh, Amazon. A lot of these things that you know they're worried about coming regulation or potential regulation, which might get them in trouble, or maybe they're going to lose money, um, or there's tax stuff too, which would which would mean losing money probably also. Um, so that's why that kind of stuff is, going, is happening. And also a lot of these companies are taking orders from companies that own them, you know, so... Ah, but that's the whole other video. Last thing I want to say that here on out, uh, from here, I'm going to make some videos too that are non, not about Bitcoin Cash. Only with the intention of bringing in new viewers who want it, who will learn about Bitcoin Cash, because you know if they're ever a subscriber, or if uh, this for any method possible. If I'm making a video about other coins, I'm going to bring some other people to the channel, and they can see about Bitcoin Cash also. Maybe they learn about it, maybe they use it, maybe they'll be interested in talking about it themselves. Maybe they'll, maybe they're coders, uh, you know, anyone, you know, all kind of people. So if you see some non-Bitcoin Cash videos, that's that's why. Also, I like to use other coins too. I'm not. I'm not only going to use Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I like. I like other stuff too. But Bitcoin Cash is uh, the, the one and only peer-to-peer uh, peer-to-peer -peer ele peer -peer electronic cash. So that's what I'm going to use for for electronic cash. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.